Are we cool on that part? All right. So remember this as I highlight. In terms of strategies uh, you can use to finance your car, uh, number one, remember, pay extra if you can. Towards your car repayment. Pay extra, even 100 rand goes a long way. But it differs from property. Because when you are dealing with your car, it will appear as an additional or advanced payment. Let's say an extra payment for my 7,000 installment was 500 rand more. Then it will appear as what? And 500 rand advance. And then the statement will indicate that the next month due is 6.5. But you also pay extra on purpose. You understand? That's one of the few things that must be part of your area focus. When you afford. Okay. And then the next thing, if you realize that the interest rate you are paying is too much, like you are paying like 19%, and there's still a residual involved. That is not healthy. You have a bad deal. You can look for a better deal and refinance for a lesser interest rate for the same level of what? For the same level of your car. If your installment is 6.8, you rather round it off to how much? 7,000. That will go a long way. Are we together on that one? Remember, in South Africa, it's more than 210 cars being rep repossessed every day. Yes. Yes. Per year is more than 100,000 cars. When you go to these auction places, they, they, they don't have enough space to park. So, let me make an, a quick example. Look at this deal. Look at this deal. Um, it's, 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 it's more like when you are paying your installment, half of, of the, double of the money goes towards interest for the first few, 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 few months. You can see here, this client, what is going towards capital is half of what he uh, is paid here. For, for the first few, few months or years, that's how it always goes. You understand? So those are the few things that you always need to check. But what makes your car expensive are those sundry items you always agree on. Those extras. When they say, do you like these alloy wheels? Yes. <laughs> do you want to have this Log nuts, yes. You can buy those log nuts outside without being refinanced. Just imagine when they add 3,000 for no log nuts under refinancing. It means for the next 73 months, you will be paying that 3,000 with its interest. That is the problem. Rather buy it outside cash once off you're done. Because if it is refinanced, it will be added as part of interest you need to pay. Are we cool on that one? Look at this model. It has a residual. That is a balloon of 104,000. A balloon is your last installment that you need to pay. Cash as a lump sum. Come again. You don't negotiate. You can refinance. You understand? So I've, I've met a lot of clients who will say, Sponis, I didn't even know. I always see residual value. I don't know what does that mean. Yeah. I was in Cape Town when someone said, I'm on my third year. I only knew the time you were mentioning it and explaining it, that is the balloon I will need to pay as my last installment. Because you good people, sometimes you don't read the fine print. You don't get proper explanation. So these are all but even this deal is bad at 17.75%. More especially women. They are just emotionally attached to a certain model. Your own motor may make you broke as much as it is talking to you. You understand? If you are not negotiating the right percentage, you will be in trouble. That is why other clients will start by going to the bank and the bank will say, I will give you 
up to 500. Then you are going there with a pre-approval from the bank. That will not have enough room for some dealers to add more on it. Are we together on that one? Yes. Another thing, if you have, um, let's say you have a, a lump sum. Maybe you, uh, you are on zero deposit or you have a deposit and a lump sum. Don't put the lump sum as a deposit. Okay? Get your deal done. Maybe on your second month, um, request a capital reduction because you will be adding this much. So your request must be about capital reduction, meaning that as soon as you add this, then your installment will also decrease a lot. That's one of the few things you can do that may work better than putting it as a what? As a deposit. All right. So please make sure you check on the percentage of your deal in terms of uh, how much is worth. So I, I saw this one is 80 months uh, picanto. There's another one for 90 something months. Yes, the banks can now give you up to 90 months. I'm telling you, I'm looking it for you so, so that you can see it. You understand? So don't agree on the longest term. It used to be 60 months, you remember? Now, 72 was normal. Now they are adding another 12 months. You understand? But now the problem is that when you are going for a deal, you are always more like, you are always more like apologetic. You understand? Aning zama. Yeah. No maganjani. As if you did something, you end up being screwed. So, Sometimes, as much as the residual makes a car to be affordable, prepare for it, Pella. You understand? While you are paying, make sure you are keeping something. Otherwise, you will struggle at the end of the day. So, if your car, you are, from your salary, you are paying more than 50 to 60% from your income, according to the car affordability rule of thumb, it means you, are, you don't afford it. If 70% is going towards car repayments, you know that car, you do not afford it, you will need to downgrade to a better and a cheaper motor vehicle. Also negotiate your interest rates. Don't take anything that is above um, 14, max 14, 17, 18, 19 interest rate, that is too much. If if you afford, while you are buying car, don't add extras. You can add that yourself. Because if the car is certain paint and they say, I want metallic. As you say, you want metallic. It's like Japanese adding extra cheese. Ah. <laughs> You're also adding on the money you will be paying. Sometimes a second car with a service history can be what you need. You get the point? Yes, I was saying this, and someone said, I, I, I don't want a second-hand a second -hand car. I want a smell, a, a smell of a leather seat. I said, you can buy a second-hand second, uh, second car and buy a smell as well. So now you have the, the new smell inside the second-hand second -hand car. Buy a smell separate. Envelope, put a smell inside. It will be covered. No metallic, okay? Pay extra. The shortfall, you don't have to have a shortfall. It means you don't have to add at three on extras. If you want a simple VW Polo, even if your salesman say, how about this one with a sunroof and leather seat? If you are not affording it, be transparent. Because just imagine us as your friend is saying, congratulations, everyone is happy, poo -poo -poo at home. <laughs> so please, guys, check that out, and then go uh, your Caesar game going forward. If unengenzaganjalo, it will be fine. So as we go, uh, as we go, 
let me also touch on the emotional and spiritual part of uh, this financial business. Sometimes you do everything right, but you find yourself taking wrong money decisions. There's something that we call money blocks, financial wounds or pains of the past that is affecting your current decision that you are making with money. You need to heal him, does. From all those situations, you need to do what? You need to heal. What is a money block? Is anything, a money block is anything that has, holds you back from making the money you want. It is called financial self-sabotage. You understand? Every time when you are trying to keep money, you ended up taking a wrong decision and then feel guilty after that. Then you have to start all over again. Some of you, they said, beginning of the year, I'll be saving this much. You started to save, then come Easter's, gone, all, all of it gone. Then every year, same thing happens. Why you are not firm on your decisions? Okay? Sometimes you need to protect yourself against yourself. So, you know, this kind of two people talking into your mind. Someone is saying, buy. Someone is saying, look good. But there's that small voice that says, don't. You understand? So, that is called part of money block called self-sabotage. You understand? How do you know if you have what we call money blocks? Sometimes you always have this thing of fear of money due to upbringing. You grow from a home where money was very scarce. And then that scarcity mentality was more ingrained in you. In such a way that you get, you get paid today, you make sure that all this money I had must go away from me as soon as it comes. Because money never stay in my home. That was part of my upbringing and habit. Then you are continuing the process. Some of you, it was money and yesterday, they made sure I had. Because you spent your money before it came through that credit card that you've missed. So now you are working to pay for wrong decisions, but you can heal from that. All right? So, these are kind of money blocks example. Someone who will say, I'm just not meant to be rich. Imali doesn't want me. You are saying with you, my family wasn't rich, so I can't be better. I need to keep the family culture of being broke. <laughs> Believing that making money is hard. All right? It's wrong to make a lot of money while other people do not have. You know what? The only way you can assist the poor is by becoming rich. Because you can be able to assist. You cannot assist them be, be, by becoming one of the poor. You are adding more problem. All right. Some of you with money. You see, you see those parents who always assist. When the neighbor comes, can you borrow me 500? Uh, uh, they will take. 500 that is supposed to buy grocery, they will take and give. I don't care about the money. I'm just helping. Oh, Ibo. Help yourself first to be in a position to help others. How can you help others from an empty stomach? Do you know those kind of parents? We have a woman who will take your man in Lambilekaya or you borrow away who must bear. That is another attitude that must also change. In South Africa, when you lend someone money, they must be a contract and you must become a registered lender. <laughs> that is the law. If you believe rich people are greedy, that, what, that may block money. If you believe rich people like Abbas Bonis are evil, that will block money. You understand? So, people will stop loving me if I have money. Buzz is because you're a consultant. Uh -uh. Those beliefs are blocking your financial breakthrough. 
Someone will say, for me, it's important to be happy, not to be rich. I, how about being happy and rich? How about that? Yeah. Money doesn't buy happy. No, no one ever said money buys happiness. It buys a car. It buys a property. It buys education. It buys a holiday. It buys your clothes. Are, are you not happy after doing yourself to look beautiful? Oh, bo. Musanukala. Are you happy when you are broke? So how do we overcome financial wounds? Let it go. You lost money, let it go. Start all over again. Even the Bible says what you've lost, what the, 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 the locusts has consumed will be restored back to you in double. Just let this go. Start all over again. All right. And you don't act against financial principles. Money is supposed to be kept. You can consume the 90%, invest 10%. Remember, in this world, we only have 10 numbers. If you invest 10%, you've done it all with the numbers that are available in this world. Then you'll be fine. You'll be living a good life. Why we need to talk about money? It's simply because it carries more emotional weight than we realize. So we need to talk about money. You need to let go of your upbringing where if you were asking for money from your parents, they will just be um, irritated. They will respond and say, Utimanje ngiyi susegepi. You understand? Utimali is from Chris or what what? So that was a negative response that may actually install negative beliefs about money. It means when you think about money, you associate with the pains that you encountered when it was a money issue at your home and so forth. Or you were heavily indebted. Now you hate, you hate anything that pertains to money. So heal from that. After that, you can develop a good habit from a good heart. I hope that is clear. So good people, I like to thank you so much for joining us today. I'm also reminding you uh, that um, this coming Tuesday, uh, is it a Tuesday? And can you so via Zoom, I'm inviting for this uh, property session. Uh, this is a real estate education. Uh, on the 4th of June, we are going to be online via Zoom. You can be part of this discussion because I've just highlighted some of the things but there's a lot more that will be discussed on Tuesday for two hours, uh, focusing on the property issues. And then the Challenge 350 is coming back. We call it a challenge because it's challenging. So I will explain it uh, uh, in a second. Uh, it's going to be online via Zoom. And then it's also going to be physically in Deben. Also, uh, remember, on Impi Debt, we help you get out of debt. But on impulent finance, we help you get in. So one side, we get you out. <laughs> this side. <laughs> uh, uh, it's, 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 it's business. It, it's not personal. So, so once you are restored, we also encourage you to get some money. All right. So once you are under pressure, we put you this side. So it's just a business. As I said, we are recruiting um, candidate property practitioners. If you reside in Gauteng, you want to become part of our Gauteng prim, uh, team in terms of being an estate agent, please send us your email to info at blackprop.co.za. Your CV and requirement is just metric. We will give you training going forward. So this is MP Debt Managers and the Impilent Developers, NHPRC registered. Um, we also do some government projects under CIDB. So there's a lot of synergy we do with the uh, Crowd Bricks. So Crowd Bricks can develop a property and then they can qualify you as Black Prop. We just market and sell that property. You see how we get opportunities. After they've developed, and build everything, we market and sell. 
and make sure our people are housed accordingly. All right. And then Imperial Managers is our registered FSP. So for any reliable financial advice, insurance advice, we need to talk. Uh, we will be able to assist you. So this is our Money Mindset book. If, if you don't have a copy, uh, please, you must get the copy of this book. After reading it, you will never be broke another day in your life. Okay. So this one is an um, accredited NQF 6 level course to become a financial advisor, insurance advisor, investment advisor, accredited by INCITA and uh, QCTO and uh, administered by INCITA. This is a wealth management course. If you are in finance, you know that uh, you have five years to have a qualification. This is the one. If you want to get into a financial sector as well, this can be the one. We don't only assist you with education. We make sure we empower you if you want to be part of our team or if you want to establish your own broker, we are there to assist you with the whole process. So other than that, um, I hope that is clear and straightforward. And um, yeah, if there's any question that may arise, you may bring about that question. Like I said, the Challenge 350 is starting uh, beginning of July. So what is part of our focus when we do the Challenge 350? We focus on three strongest currencies. That is the Kuwaiti Taina, because that one is short term, because it's financial market trading. One Kuwaiti Taina against the rand is how much, can you tell me? 61 rand, ne? 61 rand 39. So for your first month in training, the focus is just to help you at least if you make one Kuwaiti Taina per day, that will be enough. But on your sixth month, you must be making like at least six Kuwaiti Taina. And it's very challenging, but uh, the mentorship goes for a year and beyond. Six Kuwaiti Taina is 310, 68 rand. That is where the concept 350 comes from. And this is going to be our last uh, because we are closing the 350 chapter and we will continue those that are part of uh, the, uh, the mission uh, for, for, for that matter. So if you look at all these things, I just want to show you something. Uh, when it comes to financial market trading, uh, remember that um, what is very much important is the withdrawals. You know, you can have all these uh, monies. You know, when I started in the financial market around 2012, I used to, you know, when I'm profiting, I will take a picture of that uh, 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 process just to show people that, you know what, uh, I am profiting in what I do, all those sort of things. After showing a picture, blown in the account without uh, making what? A withdrawal. Just imagine. So what matters the most as the money that comes to your account is what we call a withdrawal. So for a month of April, withdrawing 755 quid is not too bad for a freedom month. How much is 775 quid? 735? 55? You know, when you are actually bringing it into rent, it's not too bad. This is using the power of exchange rate. Against our weaker rent, we are using a stronger currency. Are, we, are, are you getting me? And then the second strongest currency is uh, Omarian, I mean, Parentina. Do you know Parentina? One Parentina against the rent is how much? 49. And then the third strongest currency is Oman Riel. So those are monies from Arabs. This is oil money. This is rich, real rich people's money. You understand? Yeah. It's the third strongest currency is 48 rand, 93. Are we together on that one? So guys, the 350 challenge is a 12 months uh, program. And uh, sometimes we go beyond 12 months because sometimes we, there are some sessions that we do not uh, meet based on different uh, activities. 
So we prolong to be more than three months. So when you are coming into financial market, don't try to get rich quick. Absorb it step by step, then you can win. Are we together on that part? So there is also, I have a degree in financial market. There is also a diploma level that we offer from Safia. That one is in NQF level seven as well. So there are so many opportunities. Let's keep in touch, and then we'll be able to move together uh, in, a, in a positive way. This is 100 quid. That is more like 6,000, not like 100 rand. Like 6,000 when you convert it back into, into rands. So that is the quick part. And then here I have um, Omani Real. That is more, how much do I have here? Oh, no, this one is the rents. And you can see the market is moving today. This is the crypto market. Because even when the crypto is um, dropping, you can also make some money. This is a Bitcoin chart. It's moving. It doesn't close Monday to Friday. You can make money market going down or make money market going up. It's just that it looks ugly because... Um, Yeah, now it can look nice and bad. But this one is, is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is very volatile. So you, you, it's like, I don't even recommend that you trade it. Rather, invest, unless there are news that make it move fast. But there are so many other things, guys, we can talk about. But please do follow our page on Facebook. It's Money Republic. And uh, it got like 130,000 followers. They are fake accounts, guys. They steal the content we post and create fake accounts and inbox you. We will never inbox you. We are professional financial advisors. Just imagine getting into an inbox. Hello. Uh -uh. We need to keep it <laughs> professional. Hello. You understand? So we don't have any numbers below 130,000 on Facebook. On TikTok, I think we are on 440,000 followers or 340,000 followers. Anything that has lesser numbers that is inboxing you is fake account. And on TikTok is Money Republic Education. Money Republic is an NPO, good people. So that is our non-profit organization. That is why we are able to do this. All we do, we go and look for sponsors. We get funded. We just call you for free. We take pictures. We submit to our sponsors. We get more money as an NPO. <laughs> Manja, when you're saying, ah, it's free. But Funan, ah, there's something about Funan. You are free. Ah, ah, says he told you in the Funan. Yes, don't bet him. Yeah. All right. Are you part of any committee? You know, we are in the process of registering. A cooperative bank. We currently have more than 200 members. You understand? I'm spearheading the project uh, with the Treasury, Department of Treasury, the Reserve Bank, as well as uh, FSA. That's how the applications goes. They need us to have 11 committees. There's an education committee, um, lending committee, because as we pull funds together, we'll be able to lend each other. You understand? as a cooperative banking institute. So we have members who are not committed to play any part in the committee. You know, the treasurer, they know me, even from Bredo, they know me. And they know me that I will be in one committee. And they specify that we need every other people on different committees. Some of them are not showing up to be part of committing, auditing committee, everything is so strict now that they need 11 committees and they cannot be a, a duplicate of individuals. Now that I'm asking, that is why I'm asking you, are you having, are you participating in any of those committees? Now we decided that we allocate everyone into a committee. Whether you could in marketing or not, we'll just put you there. <laughs> so, that, so that we submit the names back, because that is what's holding us. And the members just are there and not active in any committee. 
and I cannot be alone there because they say, Sponiso, you have an influence. If you are in everything, it means you can influence that direction, and that is not needed. Are we good on that one? So the progress is waiting for committees, and now we are working towards just making sure that we are telling you, you are on marketing. You are a policeman, but you are putting you on the education committee. <laughs> we sort things out. Understand? Because that's the only thing that is holding us from getting the license. After getting the license, we also get an NCR license, meaning that we can borrow members' money. As a member, you come back, you're no longer going to APSA for a loan. You will come here. You want to build, you will come here. You understand? Yeah, I'm telling you, the number of members we have, we are not contributing anything for now. It's just members making sure that after we get the license, we can start to contribute. And our, we are projecting, projecting to have 1,000 members. And if uh, 1,000 members are contributing like 1,000 every month, that is a million every month. Simply like that. But we said until we get a license, we are not taking any more members. We will invite you guys once the license is available. Okay? And if you want to be part of that initiative, know that you will be there to work. Not just to sit and expect to benefit. That's what the Reserve Bank wants to see happening. Are we together on that part? And then if you go to Reserve Bank uh, website, you can see there are different um, 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 cooperative banks that are owned by Africaners and Boas. You know how much they have? 150 something million, others are moving closer to a billion. They are just at the area of cooperative banking, but they are doing everything themselves. And they keep shut, their mouth shut. They have their Orania, they have every other thing, but they do it as a collective. They don't want to go to commercial level. They keep it here with a, a smaller regulations, but everyone is benefiting. We can do that, but now because I'm committed in everything, I am just teaching people so that as committees they can continue. I just want to go to back to Dubai with my family while we are still <laughs> talking with each other as committees. So other than that, guys, thank you so much for joining us. I apologize for keeping you this long. And uh, I will only take questions from people who bought a USB or a book. If you didn't, it's, it's still a business, you understand? <laughs> <laughs> Can we stand up, guys? Can we stand on our feet? Oh. Their staff. Or oh, the five people will come, will come to you after the session. All right. So come this side, Kanye. So I want you to stand this side. Okay. So this side by the corner. Uh, good people, you've learned something today. But now as your words creates, I want us to show, to say these words, and we must say it convincingly so that you believe them yourself. So that your conscious mind and your subconscious minds believe that it is so. Uh, we will say these words after me. I am a money magnet. I am a money, magnet. money come to me. From the north and the south. From the east and the west. Money is my friend. Money is my tool. I am blessed with money. I am prosperous. I am debt free. I am a property owner. I am a land owner. Money come to me. I will never be broke. Another day, Another day in my life. I am a money magnet. I am, a money magnet. I am reconciling with my money. Reconciling with my money. Money, come home. money come home. Money come to my pockets. Money, come to my money to my bank account. Money to my, bank account. Money to my savings account. Money to my bra. Money to my shoes. Money to my wardrobe. Money to my cupboards. Money, money everywhere. Money, everywhere. Money, loves me. money loves me. 
Money is my friend. Money is my friend. Amen. God bless you. Amen. The questions. <laughs>